Well, I come out to try and test this camera, this new Canon camera. Get some footage over here down at the end of Park Street. But look how grown over everything is. They're running out of room. Running out of room. There is an area down there that I have yet to take the stampede. I'm gonna do that on a less windy day. I've got a little bit of a, a foam filter piece over the microphone. But as you can probably tell, there's probably wind right now. I gotta, I'm gotta. i trying to order these little fuzzy covers and they're actually like a fur that long, but it's a little round disc and you get the special sticky to put it over the built-in microphone on DSLR cameras. Found a really good deal on them, but they don't ship to Canada. And the one that did wanted some crazy $60 shipping for a $15 order, so yeah. Anyways, the footage you just watched is the footage I recorded. I'm gonna go home, have a look at it, and uh, I already know it's gonna be decent looking. But we need to do a big, massive jump session day. Get everybody out with a four-wheel drive brushless, two-wheel drive brushless, and just have at her. But we gotta find an area that's not, it's not all grow, overgrown like this. Like, look at it all. You remember the trailing videos through this ditch right here? That's how overgrown it is. You probably can't even crawl through there now. Yeah. All right, back to the house. We shall go. Hey vlog, what's going on? You know who I am. I may have already filmed an intro. I may not, I don't really remember. I'm out here doing some jumps. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, so you already seen the rough stuff earlier testing out the camera. I want to introduce you to somebody. This is somebody I've known since seven years old, eight years old. Yeah. yeah. This is another Andrew. How's it going? He's a bike enthusiast. He has had some gnarly road rash from the Hamilton Bike Hill race. That's the first thing that comes to mind when I think of a, this is a, a hill. He had to do what, 60 mile an hour or more? Pretty fast. And then just, <laughs> boom. <laughs> is it, there's probably footage of that out there somewhere, right? Yeah, on YouTube. I yeah? Okay, well I'll have to get a, a link from you later and I'll try and throw it in there for you guys to see. But he's getting into the RC hobby, well he's been into, but getting back into it. Do you want to show them your truck? Uh, sure. It's nothing fierce and mighty yet, yet being the key word. Kind of showing them what brushless is about and uh, some of the things that you can do. There you go, Traxxas Slash. Two wheel drive. Right now, just the stock 12 turn Titan motor. I can't remember what the stock gear ratio is. I think it's like a 21 or a 19 on the pinion. Uh, I forgot to read the book again. <laughs> oh, I only remember because I was just going through this about, actually this time last year, I think. Oh yeah? Yeah. So he's over here trying some jumps, just a little brushed power, but you know, you can still get jumps in. Having fun, that's what it's all about, is having fun. Oh, and seeing how you asked about it earlier, I'll point this out. I was doing some donuts. Not under Chewy's truck, it wasn't there. You guys see that, if that the lens picks it up all right. That's digging up compacted dirt. That was a pretty good time. Uh, I don't know. I haven't double checked anything. Hey, you know, it may not be full out, across the yard, high speed jumping, but a jump is a jump. <laughs> and it gets me some practice with this new camera. Whoa. <laughs> I've only got maybe 20 minutes in total time playing with this thing, right? I'll have to let you try out the stampede in a minute. Uh, we probably learn how to drive a little better. Uh, <laughs> or not. Or I'll stand close to behind it. Yeah, if you're in line with the ramp, it's easier to get right on it. Whoa! <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> how do you get it so good? Trying very hard to get that truck in time. Look, he's just going around the corner. It's an old red Fargo pickup. Look at that. Looking down a City Hall clock. 
Still got about six minutes to spare. Not too much further to go. And that used to be, if you, if you know old St. Thomas, okay, check this out. That was the old Birdie Bobs right there. It used to be a bar on the corner. I think it was like an empire or something before that. Anyway, and here was the old sketch pad skate park. Good RC drift lot, maybe, yeah, no, maybe. Just gonna show you guys. I'm riding about as close as I can really get to these cars without chancing clip in the mirror or something. And cars are giving me about as much room as they actually can give you along here. And watch people stop getting their Timmy's there in the morning. Oh yes, construction still going on here. I've got about three minutes until my appointment. So I'm going about as quick as I dare to go through here in case somebody walks out in front of my bike. Well, I'm filming no less. Shortcut. All right, bike's locked up. Time to head on inside. I'm already close enough to be in light. Whoever thought I'd be smiling this much in the morning? The lady was just coming into work at the medical clinic where I'm going in. And I was just filming all that last cut you just seen. And I, I was like, oh, don't ask it to YouTube. And she just laughs. I was like, I'd explain it, but I'm almost late to go in and see you guys. So, past the construction, into the office I go. Appointment completed, mission accomplished. Now it's time to go get a coffee and I figure we're down in this end of town, I might as, well, might as well go see an old friend. It's still very early in the morning, so don't expect a 100% perfect speech out of me. I just thought maybe I should actually stop and uh, show this place. This is an older place here in the west end of St. Thomas. And it's, it's a beautiful place. It's one of the originals. And a bit of a sneak peek at the awesome work being done here in West End Talbot. As you guys know, they've been giving this end of the town a bit of a facelift. And they're actually going along really quick with this, like it's really progressing. Now we just need to get the buildings a facelift, lower the rent on them, and we can have West End Talbot functional again. Maybe? Maybe. And this is the, this is the work they just did over the last season. I don't know how well you can see it from this view. But they've been really trying to get this West End revamped. The wacky inflatable arm flailing tube man. And this looks like a good spot to get a coffee. One Tim Hortons coffee acquired from, of course, Tim Hortons. Is that it? That's an old school sign still, I'm pretty sure. Most of them look a little more closer to that. But luckily around town, we've still got a couple of these ones kicking around. Anyhow, coffee acquired, time to go see an old friend. And what do you suppose those are? That's my bike, but these things here, what do you suppose those are? Ballasts, old, old ballasts maybe. Looking out towards Lynnhurst, St. Thomas, and I've come down to see an old friend. Oh, Jumbo, what you got to say today? Probably not much, because you're just a big concrete statue. That's right. But look at him. Isn't he? Isn't he a big elephant? <laughs> well, he's definitely not a big donkey. Elephant, Jumbo the elephant, pride of Barnum Bailey Circus. Oh, and I just discovered something right by this tail here. There's a St. Thomas Rocks Rock. Should we have a hop on up and see what it says? Be careful, it's a dangerous spot to be. It is part of a St. Thomas Rocks Rock Superman. Cool, hidden treasure. So yeah, Jumbo the Elephant. Somewhere out there, in a Ripley's, I do believe, was Jumbo's 
taxidermied skeleton. Is that how you say it? You know, for an elephant, it sits outdoors all the time. It's got some pretty clean ears. But yeah, Jumbo the Elephant, uh, staple of St. Thomas. Used to be prior to Barnum Bailey Circus. His life ended by a train right here in St. Thomas, Ontario. Yeah, I figured it'd be a good spot to come down and enjoy some coffee. And also a good place to come get some practice uh, using this new camera. I'm enjoying it so far, kind of kind of eager to see how well this footage is going to turn out. You know what I mean? It's, it's not a bright day. It's kind of overcast, a little bit windy. I do have the foam piece on the side of the uh, the microphone, the, the built-in microphone. So hopefully it's reduced a little bit of the wind noise. Should really have some fur on there. Some fuzz, some furry fuzz, fuzzy fur. Hey, check this out. Is that post there? It's an iron post. It's a spotlight for Jumbo. I'm pretty sure that's still the main spotlight for here. We've got some old telephone poles around town like us still. Yeah, I know, completely random. But I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna enjoy me my coffee. And then, uh, being that we're on the other side of town, I'm gonna work on biking back home. Say goodbye, Jumbo. We'll see you again soon. Big old elephant. There we go. Okay, now you can say goodbye. As a matter of fact, disregard my previous statement because there is something else I can show you guys. And I will. I think I only kind of just roughly quickly showed it last time, so we'll make up for that now. The red caboose. It's an actual CN rail. Canadian national, is it? Caboose. Look, he's got his own hydro. It's own smart meter. And if you look, the caboose is actually mounted on its own set of rails. I wonder why somebody's got that open. I don't think that's supposed to be open, but that's where you see the, would that be the bearing or the brake? Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of fused open, but don't get your fingers stuck in there. An actual factual, brightly painted red sea and rail caboose. Should have this thing all lit up. If you look, it's got a bell box. It's got its own little internet signal. I wonder, I should check the phone and maybe see if there's internet here. Yeah. I've got my coffee sitting over here on the corner in Jumbo. The base for it. So I gotta keep an eye on that, but... This boxcar shoes. Look at this, it's actual business now. They're not open till noon, but got a bunch of sports stuff and sports shoes. And they've got the uh, route mapped off here for running. Cool. I didn't even know that. So there you go. Local business, boxcar shoes. Who knew? I guess I do now. What a nice view. I hate to go random on you guys, but look at that view. That's a nice view. In case you're wondering, no, I'm never, ever, ever out at this time of the day. And it's now only like 9.30 in the morning. So I'm trying to kill some time. I don't want to go home right away. I'm enjoying that it's not blazingly hot, it's not cold, it's not overly windy, it's actually not a bad day. Not a bad day. So this right here is another place that I gotta come do a vlog here someday. Just waiting for that perfect, the perfect opportunity, you know what I mean? i uh, got somebody else who wants to come do this vlog with me. It would be random sister, mystery sister. We haven't been here since we were kids. And it's the Elgin Military Museum. They've got a couple things around back. We're going to go have a quick look at. Just kind of a sneak preview of what's to come when I do finally get to vlog this place. 
Here's their hours of operation in case anybody's wondering when and how they can get over here if they wanted to. That's where that's their hours of operation. I'm gonna switch over to super vivid mode here just to see the difference. They've even got a cool little card shack where you can get a fun pick. Fun picks aside, they got groovy little things outdoors just to look at like this old cannon. Looking down the barrel of a cannon. Cool. They've got other things here for making a big entrance as well. The old tanks. Tanks a lot. Yeah, I know, that would have been really cheesy. An old kettle. And I'm pretty sure this block here and that block over there were from Alma College. I could be completely wrong. In case you don't know Alma College, Alma College was a, one of the first school, girls' schools in the world, and it was right here in St. Thomas. Another one is great big. I'm not sure these are so much of a a boom boom tank as much of a personnel carrier troop transport and look museum parking only I don't think these guys are going anywhere anytime soon look at the blackout lights oh that kettle has a crack in it so yeah we'll come here sometime and we'll actually do a tour of the inside and show you everything they have inside. I imagine they've got some pretty amazing things. I haven't been here since I was a kid, so quite honestly, I don't remember anything that's in there. But I guarantee you they got the guard shack, a cannon, a couple of tanks. They've got something worth seeing inside. And in case you're wondering, if you hear something bouncing around, it's this lens cap against the gorilla pod. It's on a tether, and I'm thinking of removing it because it's super annoying to have it bouncing around. Same with the, the strap. Okay, I think I'm gonna hop on the bike and we're gonna slowly make our way home. Figured, might as well get some footage the old cemetery on the way past it. You guys remember I did this, uh, I vlogged this cemetery a few weeks back. Might have to come back and get some footage again. Oh, what is this? What is this? We may have come over here on the right day. Oh, look at this. Okay, well, I might have to stop and film some footage here. Well, just got done. Very awesome little tour of the old St. Thomas Church. Keep your eye open for that video. I have lived here in St. Thomas for at least 35 years of my life. I'm almost 40 now. We moved here when I was five. And that is maybe the fourth or fifth time I've been able to get in that church and have a look around. Very awesome, very informative tour guides. I guess they're tour guides, Aiden and Jill. Thank you very much, guys. And, uh, you want to watch that video. Aiden went up in the tower and rang the bell for you guys. Yeah, very cool, very awesome. I'm looking forward to watching that part because like, I didn't get to film it. Aiden took the camera up in there. He filmed it for me. It's gonna be a very cool video. So, now that I'm done with that and the battery's almost dead on this cannon, we're gonna head on back home, get some rest. I was up way too early. I'm gonna relax. And then continue filming something else for the vlog today, although I'm pretty sure it's getting lengthy as it is. Awesome day so far though, awesome day. Oh yeah, like the big cannon. <laughs> Bob Knox just said it best, big cannons. Oh, in case you guys are wondering where I'm at, this is the St. Thomas, this is a federal courthouse, they call it the Elgin County Courthouse Superior Court of Justice. This thing has been here since the days of hangings, which is why I'm over here on this part of the property. I don't think it was this tree here. 
I might be wrong, but it's a big tree like this one, and I'm pretty sure it sat right around here, kind of where you see that indent in the lawn. But right here on this corner, here in Elgin County, it was either this tree or a tree that's no longer here, but they used to hang people right here. That's right. If you uh, if you look up the history, there's an interesting story to tell the last person persons to be hung here in St. Thomas, right here on this property, not a gallows, from a tree. At least this is the story that was told to me. So one day we'll cover that. But yeah, it was like right here. I remember uh, grade, grades five, I think, grade five and six. My teacher, our teacher, Mr. Abink, used to bring us on a tour from Wellington Street School. And by the way, this is Wellington Street right here. And the school is only like right where those lights are down there. But he used to bring us on a walk and tell us all kinds of local history. And we also, at the end of the year, would do the hike out to his house. Cool. This town does have a lot of history. By the way, the date on the side of that cannon is 1902. Anyhow, I'm going to get back home now because I just keep getting distracted and filming more and more. Well, folks, I'm home, and before I can record an en ending segment for today's, uh, well, for the vlog, I have to mention something. I just saw the most ridiculous grocery store commercial on YouTube that you'll ever see. It was the No Frills one. It's No Frills, we won't be beat or won't be beat or something like that. And people are like sailing through the air, through the aisles, doing like parkour over the top of the aisles and everything and just... That's just not grocery shopping. I don't I don't think I'm qualified to shop somewhere like that now. But in the end of the commercial, it's even better. They got a Crown Vic, or you see their Crown Vic or Grand Marquis up on two wheels with the, the mom up on the hood with all the groceries she just got, and other vans doing donuts and absolute ridiculousness for a grocery store commercial. You would have never seen something like that in, when I was younger, growing up. And I, I hate to say it, because I'm sure people are going to disagree with me, but I'm going to say it anyway. I feel that crap like that is, is, even though it was kind of funny and entertaining, although it wasn't meant to be funny and entertaining, is what's leading towards the age of idiocracy. That's all I'm going to say about that. You'll see the commercial if you watch YouTube. I'm sure it's going to come across your screen and you'll be like, oh my god, that's what he was talking about. Anyhow, thanks for watching today's vlog, or the random vlog. It's not really daily anymore, but it's the one I'm posting today, so it's today's vlog. There you go. If you're not yet subscribed, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed today's vlog, this vlog today, click the like button and share. Let's help get those subscriber count up there. And uh, yeah, I think that's just going to be it for today. So, think positive. Stay positive, keep a smile on your face, and we'll see you right here tomorrow, or in a few days, but you'll see me again. Anyhow, see you later, vlog over.